quick mailbag today. First out of the packages, we got some rotary encoders, it looks like. These are interesting ones because they come on a breakout board, on a bit of a daughter board, which is really, really cool for some projects. So it's a standard encoder with push button, and I can 3D print my knobs for these, and I can easily put this into any enclosure because it has this nifty little circuit board and this nifty PCB. So you can just sort of dump it into any old enclosure as a standalone. Pretty cool. Got a bunch of them. Good deal. Next up, I've wanted one of these for a while. An intelligent tachometer. Well, it's just an optical tachometer has what looks like it'll be just a, an IR emitter and receiver down in there. So you put a reflective uh, piece of material, just some white tape or whatever, or a little bit of white nail polish on anything, and you can pick up the reflection and work out the revolutions per minute with the optical pickup. It may actually be a laser. Oh, <laughs> A laser symbol right there. So this is either going to be laser guided, which it might, it might actually just be a, a laser pointer, which, uh, has it got any instructions? Automatic. Well, you can freeze that. We'll give it a try in an upcoming video. It might just be a laser pointer. And then I can see an IR LED down in there. I'm not sure whether it comes across on camera or at least an LED of some form. So I imagine the laser is just a pointer. But we'll give it a go. Next up, got myself an official run cam. This is the run cam Swift. Run cam is just awesome for FPV. Their, their equipment is, it just works. The prices are reasonable. The Swift camera works good in low light. It works good in bright light. Standard lens, I swap that out for a GoPro a wide angle lens and this will work great on my quads. This is going to replace the Blue Falcon camera, I think, or I might use this in that Nano Talon build. Next up, for the USB hard drive projects, got yet another adapter cable. This is USB to SATA. Uh, standard laptop hard drive style interface and it's USB 3.0. Nothing to it. I've tested these before. They work fantastic. The price reasonable and works pretty good. Next up, some adapters. These look like antenna adapters and you're going to see these on several projects upcoming. This is SMA to MMCX connector for a very specific set of projects. And one thing that this will hook to is right here. And it's going to be a little big to get on camera. Again, this will be in a standalone review coming up. But this is a 2.4 gigahertz Yagi antenna. And sure enough, it's SMA. I actually think these are RP SMA. Uh, you clever guys out there in the crowd can tell me. I think all the 2.4 for router stuff was all RPSMA, but I always forget which is which. But yeah, nice little Yagi antenna, directional antenna, uh, comes with some U-bolts. These are extremely cheap. Like I can't build this for the price they're charging for them. It's fantastic. So we're gonna give it a go. Next out of the package, uh, some quadcopter stuff. These are just some props, some Emacs props for my Emacs Tiny Hawk. Uh, it doesn't come with spare props at the Tiny Hawk, and I've n I haven't heard any yet, but I ordered some spares just from eBay. Next up, we've got some communication modules. These are, I believe, the NRF wireless communication modules labeled HW237s. These are the high output ones with the nifty SMA connector on it. They're 2.4 gigahertz for reasonably long range. These will go for quite a few kilometers. They should work fantastic for a couple upcoming projects. Um, 
standard uh, pin layout here and they're not labeled on the board. I did take uh, a few minutes and look this up on the product and they are the standard layout for the NRF module. So you can just Google it to get the, the pin out, but good looking little circuit board. I think they'll work good. Speaking of PCBs, make sure you check out PCB Way. If you're into making your own circuit boards and designs, they will fabricate your circuit boards for you and send them to you at a very reasonable price made to your specifications. Also check out their website. They're running a contest right now where you can win prizes and cash for your designs. Next up, got some new buck converters. These are a 5 volt 1 amp. I've gone ahead and labeled the bags because I often forget when things come in. They're 5 volt 1 amp, 7 to 16 volt input, just a buck converter. Nothing to it, but very, very small. Good for RC stuff or running a small microcontroller off of like a larger LiPo battery or whatever. Very, very handy. I think these will do the job quite well. And last up is a component I haven't played with before. This is an e-paper display. <laughs> it came with Heltec automation uh, baked into it. The e-paper displays, once you display something, it stays persistent on the display with no power required. Very, very cool. It's a really interesting board. It was a very reasonable price. Uh, E-paper displays tend to be a little bit expensive, hence the reason I haven't played with them much, but I really like the concept of the low power, and we're going to give it a try in some upcoming projects. Comes with a header, nothing to it. We'll give it a go. Okay, one more. Two nifty little Bluetooth modules. These are just Bluetooth mo uh, audio modules, KN320. Blue to BT 5.0. Yeah, I don't know what any of the specs will be on this, but we're going to use this for um, one of our other projects where I might be adding Bluetooth to my, uh, use this for adding to my home entertainment, my um, RetroPie setup with Cody, and then I can listen on my Bluetooth headphones. Might do a good job. We'll give it a go. That's it for the haul this week. Click a thumbs up on this video if you like these videos. If you like playing with electronics, I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. See you next video.